Hello everybody, it's Kasumi1245 here with another Minecraft uh, video, and yeah, I'm gonna do uh, um, inverters today, like the, uh, yeah, and I'm gonna make, show you guys what an inverter is pretty much, and um, yeah, let's get to it. Oh, and before I uh, start this video, um, yeah, I know you guys can hear my keyboard and stuff, like when I'm jumping or like whatever, but um, I can't really, I mean, I don't really know how to block that out. I guess the microphone I use is pretty good. I just use like a standard, just like a little headset mic. So yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, you guys can hear good stuff um, from it. But uh, yeah, uh, until I figure out how to, I don't know, cancel that out or film my videos in a different manner, um, I hope it's not a problem. Don't hate me for it, please. Uh, I love you guys so much okay anyway but uh yeah and one more thing before i go i want to give a little shout out to my good friend uh cho momo vids uh yeah he's really cool he makes a bunch of cool videos uh he just actually uploaded a couple of videos like three videos a couple hours ago um they're pretty good he has a whole bunch of well he doesn't have a whole bunch of minecraft stuff but he, you know he's got some minecraft stuff he's got some um vocal covers um, he's got some just regular vocals on there. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of funny videos. He does some drag racing stuff. That's pretty cool. He's got his cars on there. And uh, me and him are... Um, oh, he's got parkour on there. Um, yeah, he's pretty good at parkour. He's got... Yeah, he's got a whole bunch of different stuff. He's got a whole bunch... He's got a really cool channel. You guys gotta check him out. Give him some likes. Give him some uh, views. Subscribe to him. Um, he's a really good friend of mine. And me and him are gonna start uploading... Um, vocal covers together, um, dual vocal covers, uh, so be looking forward to that. They're going to be on my channel um, in the near future, so as soon as we get around to doing that, um, yeah, be looking forward to that, so hopefully we're going to have some cool stuff for you guys, some cool music stuff, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm pretty excited about all that, yeah, check them out, give them some uh, likes and stuff, but anyway, on to the tutorial. Um, we got the um, inverter. So basically, all an inverter does is um, this switches the signal from wherever you have it hooked up to. It doesn't have to be a piston. It could be um, it could be uh, I don't know. God knows what. I don't know. I, don't, I only use pistons. <laughs> I guess I don't know. But anyway, so basically, how it works is that you have a torch on a block with a signal running into it and a signal running out of it so or you know redstone running out of it and redstone also running into it and you have it hooked up to whatever else you want to be inverting it from well that's how I look at it I always have it hooked up in the manner of like this or you know I'm going to show you some implications after it which is that over there that little structure over there but yeah anyway um, I use this for, actually I use this for, for some complicated stuff, actually I'll be showing you guys soon in the future, but um, I also use this for some simple stuff such as like doors and uh, secret passageways and just crap like that, but anyway, so this is how it works, it's you got a, a torch which gives out a constant output which you can see but it has those little particles on the like, little end of it, so it would be like if you have this and then this and you break the middle and you put a torch here and if you put this torch here it's gonna go off because that torch is powering this block so if I put this torch here it's gonna stay on because it's not getting power this block isn't powered only what's coming out of this is being powered so yeah like if I show you like just because there's a torch on here um, this block is not being powered which is why this piston is not extended which is why this redstone torch is still on so if I were to break this torch, this one will go on and that one will go off. So click and there, so it's switched. And then now this block is being powered like so. And if I were to, well, I, you know, this block isn't being powered. But um, yeah, and break that and that top one will come on. And which means that that, um, block is not getting power which is why the torch is on 
and yeah that's just a little way to easy way to understand it but <clears throat> if I give redstone into it into the if I give power to this block by trailing redstone into it it'll turn that off uh, switch that and turn this piston and that piston on or extend those pistons so boop and now these pistons are both extended and this one is not because this block is powered shutting off that torch and that's pretty much everything there is to understand about the inverter it's really not a hard concept to grasp it's um really cool um <clears throat> yeah it's a really good um thing to use for a whole bunch of different ways and because it's um four o'clock in the morning it's almost four thirty <clears throat> i can't really think straight right now for some reason because it is so late but i like making videos this late because this is pretty much when i get the computer <laughs> so yeah but anyway the inverter turns on and that's what's being inverted and this is what's regular because this comes straight out of the main power source which is this lever and it this is the inverted subject whatever so block torch dust dust and that's pretty much the whole entire inverter I suggest you make these and just make these and make these until you're like second, na second nature like try to use these for everything until you're like understand them I mean they're not really hard to understand but they're really fun to use which is what I'm gonna do right now and this is one of my new favorite things about being on a computer is that you can drop and boom see all those particles I think they're great those things are really awesome to me but anyway this is how I use the inverter I mean I guess there's really no true like right correct way to use anything in Minecraft because basically Minecraft is anything you can imagine so I mean that's why I look at it at least in creative mode, but it, whatever even in survival so yeah anyway I have a door that I want to stay shut and only be opened when I walk on this pressure plate and it'll close I have a wooden one down so it'll have a longer pulse but it'll uh does it have a longer po pulse? I suppose so. I have no idea, but whatever. Um, yeah, you have this can all be hidden. You dig like three layers down, and then you can trail it from there with a torch or whatever. Is it torch? No, you can put half slabs over it actually. If you put half slabs over it, it'll cover it up pretty good. But anyway, the point of me showing you this isn't showing you guys how to hide the redstone right now. It's just showing you how you can use the redstone and no but anyway so um yeah you have dust coming out of the pressure plate into this block which has the torch on it which powers this dust which goes into the repeater which actually the repeater doesn't need to be there if you have dust on there it'll power both of them just the same so it depends on if you want to have um, a delay or not you don't have to have a repeater there. It's just like force of habit to always put repeaters down I guess for all the other stuff I make but whatever. Yeah so um, just again it's the pressure plate dust into the block which is the repeater. I mean <laughs> this is a repeater. That's a repeater. That's dust. This is the inverter. Torch. Um, dust into these and that's pretty much just one way you can use it. Um, you can walk in through your doorway, and now you're screwed because guess what? You forgot to make a switch to open the door again. Well, I guess I'll see you guys later when I figure out how to get out of this room because I'm dead. All right, guys, be looking forward to my next video and go check out my friend's uh, YouTube channel. And um, yeah, see you guys.